Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. We are going around Tesco today and they had some amazing clothing bits. I could have spent a small fortune and of course we'll be looking around the homeware as well because they also had some beautiful things in there. So this was the star of the clothing section when you go into my store. So the clothing comes first and then the homeware later. They had loads of lovely neutral colours in, lots of holiday vibes going on and loads of khaki too and that has to be one of my favourite favorite colors to wear right now. I could not resist this satin skirt at 16 pounds. They had lots of the combat trousers in as well, which I think is just so handy when you're a mum like me. Lots of pockets, comfy for when you're having to run around a soft play. So yeah, all the different colors, black, green, cream, whatever you could think of, they had it. They also had these really nice um, neutral jackets in as well. I quite like the bomber and they had this really gorgeous blazer and i really don't think you can go wrong with a camel blazer and behind that i'm not sure if i show it a little bit later it was a bit tricky to get to they did also have like a natural linen blazer um, they also have this gorgeous trench coat now i did try this on however it does run a little bit short oh, there you go there's the blazer the trench coat does run a little bit shorter than a normal one which i know is quite fashionable however it didn't suit me um, but still a really lovely coat if you do like it they also had these stretchy maxi dresses in again i think they're just great if you're a mum and you just need to throw them out on the school run or doing your errands or whatever they also had this section with some beautiful blouses oh and they have these t-shirts those stripy ones by the way i feel like the camera doesn't do them any justice they were all fully around the bottom they're just really finished off nicely and they were only eight pounds as well which i think is an absolute steal i thought they look really nice with these cargo trousers i mean 12 but the 12 pounds or 16 pounds are like literally so cheap some gorgeous embroidered tops i thought they were really pretty and again you could just throw those on with some jeans but feel nice in them they also had these skims style tops which i know are really fashionable at the moment but i myself are just a, ma I'm a massive fan of stripes right now I am normally a polka dot sort of person. I wear polka dots at least once a week, but I feel like I've changed up recently and I'm really enjoying stripes. They did have some really beautiful dresses in, particularly if you like colour. And if I am going to go for colour, to be fair, I do tend to go for green. Now, the one on the right was beautiful. It had some really lovely ruching details. Um, some more blouses that you can see there. Great for just throwing on with work. I thought this would be nice if you're going on holiday to throw on over a bikini. This gorgeous dress. Oh my goodness, if you're going to a christening, obviously you won't be able to wear, th wear this for a wedding, but it gave me really self-portrait vibes and it was only £32.50. Now, talking of the last trench coat, which was short, these are those really cool sort of like oversized long trenches. However, I could not justify getting another one because I already have a khaki trench coat, although I don't have a black one, to be fair. They had some really nice um, co-ord sets in, not something that I would actually normally go for, but again, if you're going on holiday, I feel like this khaki set and the previous stripe one would look really nice as just some tan flats or even with like a cream vest top like that underneath. had some just comfy stretchy dresses if you just like to wear those chilling around the house or if you're working from home they had this really gorgeous one now i don't normally go for mini dresses but i just really liked the style and all the frills of that one i thought this one was really cute as well i'm clearly liking the monochrome actually with this shopping trip Oh, what a beautiful colour and I just think this was finished off lovely. £19.50 for that shirt and it's certainly one that you can dress up or down. And then they have these linen-y type shirts, all different colours in those. I thought this would look amazing with like a straw hat, some tan sandals. I mean, I'm going to be honest with you, I pretty much wear tan sandals every day in the hot weather. This is gorgeous again if you're going away, if you're going to like a nice little town in Spain or somewhere like that. They also had loads of these wide leg trousers. Now, I was going to pick up a cream pair of those. However, they didn't have them in my size. But 
it was a Saturday when I went so yeah definitely keep checking out your stores and then I thought these swimsuits look really flattering I love a scalloped edge I think it's so feminine and to be honest with you when I go away now particularly after having my kids I just want something basic that I'm gonna feel nice in and their swimsuits were really ticking lots of boxes for me they were also reasonably priced oh and they had it in this lovely pumpkin color i feel like it's coming out a little bit brighter on camera but if you get a lovely tan i think that would look nice maybe with a hat like this i like that chain detail around it and then of course they've got like the classic hats in as you can see here another lovely striped shirt again if you've got like a nice white bikini on you could wear that over the top just love the whole vibe of this section i love all the colors this jumper was finished off really nicely and even though it was crochet it was super soft it looks like it's going to be hard it was really soft and lovely now i see so many people wearing those like jackets and they look amazing and then similarly to that jumper they had a cardigan if that is more your vibe in fact i've had one like this in my next basket for a long time and i want to say it's like nearly double the price of this one and um, again this felt really soft it was finished off really beautifully you can see the scallop details ah oh, it was just gorgeous more black and white i really like that square neckline on this top which was 15 pounds and again that felt super soft and i have to say that about all the clothes in tesco actually they did feel really nice and i feel like with the supermarkets they are designed to wash and wear so i have had a few things from tesco and i would say apart from the black jeans that i've had everything else has washed lovely oh love these really oversized cardigans i was hoping they were on offer but they weren't and um, they also had a fiorelli bags now i don't know if that's new to tesco certainly new to mine so if you do like a little bit more of a brand they have got some in at tesco now i don't know if they've got any more partners but i did like the simplicity of them and then oh my goodness they have the most gorgeous pajama set so if you like something more kind of like cool casual then they had these like beige ones which again was giving very sort of skim sort of vibes all those sorts of colors and looks but they did have some really pretty ones as well and they will be coming up oh i have to show you these though the bride section gorgeous exquisite i feel like even if you're not a bra but you just want to wear some pretty pajamas definitely head over into this section the lovely embroidered detail i mean for 25 pounds as well for this set i think it's fantastic i'll be honest i bought some pajamas from primark and this was a couple of years ago and the set was 20 pounds and it was nowhere near as nice quality as these ones um, this floral design with the pink background, pink background was definitely giving me sort of Ted Baker um, vibes. I think they're kind of copying a little bit of their print there, but I thought it was absolutely lovely. These two for twelve pounds, absolutely brilliant prices if you need to stock up. And oh, how cute is that Minnie Mouse top? Now I'm not normally one for the Disney pajamas or Disney prints, but I have to admit. I am at the moment because I've been playing Dreamlight Valley. It's like a Disney game. And the way that the Tesco, because this is another Disney print, by the way, the way that Tesco have done these prints, they look so pretty. And I feel like a little bit more grown up to the normal prints that you get with Disney. But yeah, anyway, I'm obsessed with Disney at the moment. If you haven't played that game, I definitely recommend it. Some more cute sets. These ones a little bit more plain still very pretty well, I shouldn't say they're plain they're still very patterned but more kind of like your normal pyjama patterns and also I do love a classic striped pair of pyjamas as well these are very cute £12.50 do you know what these would make really nice gifts as well or if you want a gift bulker they have the classic pyjama sets in I feel like these are very trendy on TikTok at the moment as well they did feel very soft and I think these are good for this time of year where it's like starting to get a little bit warm at night but it's not super hot you still need something you know cozy on now onto their slipper section they had loads of slippers in fact i'll show you some shoes in a minute well i say shoes i'm not sure if they were actual shoes or slippers but yeah they had the ugg style ones they had these which are very trendy i know people are going out and about in these ones as well so again i'll be honest with you i'm not sure if they're slippers or shoes because i see loads of people wearing them but these totally confuse me so these look like 
shoes on the outside but they are furry like slippers on the inside uh, those ones look more like slippers but those black and white ones were literally like that leather look material it was so strange and I thought do you know for summer I feel like that's when I wear ballet flats and I really wouldn't want them to be furry on the inside but anyway moving on now into the home section just showing you these mugs because they were reduced to clear again thought they'd make a nice gift even if it's to yourself and um, have to look down the stationery aisle and oh my goodness they had some gorgeous stationery some very funky bits that you can see but awesome so also some classic styles I like the dark green with the gold but I feel like I'm very predictable in that sense Her paper chase pens i mean i'm gonna be honest i feel like paper chase is a little bit pricey but very nice for a gift you can see they've got teacher planners in and yeah lots of really cute notepads and then moving on into some of their gift wrap oh some really nice and do you know what i like about these actually maybe not so much the foreign hot ones but they had some unisex um wrapping paper gorgeous i love anything with a brown um, paper background I don't know why I think it's because you can decorate it you can add bows to it it can really make it like your own style um, but they did have lots of bright and colourful wrapping paper obviously better for kids because they're not going to appreciate the brown paper background um, and they had lots of picnic and sort of barbecue wear stuff as well gorgeous napkins oh so many gorgeous napkins they didn't have lots of the plate sets in my tesco but if you can get the matching plates in yours oh you could have make a well have really lovely stuff for your barbecue or if you're doing like an afternoon tea something like that i have to admit actually when i went it was saturday i felt like the store was a little bit picked over some parts were a little bit messy things out of place like that <laughs> um bottle there but yeah still had loads of nice things as you can see and talking of tea parties are these not just the most beautiful teapots i am loving wildflower prints and on that lilac background as well gorgeous and even this this i don't know what it is like a platter a fruit bowl i mean there's so many uses that you could use for that just having it as an ornament on a dining room table i think will look beautiful and then of course as always they have lovely dinnerware sets in really like this scalloped one it kind of reminds me of seashells I think I'm definitely going to get my next dinnerware set from Tesco because they all felt really thick as well. They did feel really good quality and I have to admit those green ones that I showed earlier definitely have to be my favourite out of the lot. Oh and I had to show these mugs if you've got anybody who needs like a pick me up or anything. I just love that best person ever mug. lots of really cute adorable mugs as you can see i love anything with animals on i suppose these are very kind of eastery well springy i know easter's gone now but still super cute i feel like bunnies are sort of like an all year round print I feel like people are going crazy for the Stanley Cup now they did have some like cheaper style Stanleys if 
you are interested in those but to be honest with you I just like anything that looks pretty so all of these ones here were my sort of vibe I like the strawberry one the best I think actually more Disney and again I feel like they do the print really well here so admittedly all of this was pot and glass apart from the drinks dispenser I believe they were plastic so not necessarily ideal if you do have children but if you like Disney I mean look how cute these mugs are and then I love the orange of this section That was a jug for £10. It's really strange. It looks like it's, well, they've made it look like it's made out of all little clementines. I don't know whether I love or hate it, but I really like the, like the dash of orange to this decor. And I think it's something different. We've seen lemons like for the past couple of years. So it's nice to see something a little bit different. And then I had to show you these. These were clearly left over from Easter, but I feel like they do baubles for every season now. Moving on into some of their bedding, they always have cute bedding, I really like this blue one with the bees on, oh they've got that print again but they've got it in a cushion, oh and this dog was just melting my heart, <laughs> I liked everything about it, I like the duvet, I like the cushion, I like the blanket, some artificial flowers, and some really beautiful vases as well. moving on into some of their candles now i don't think i've actually tried out a tesco candle and do you know what? i actually didn't even smell too many because i think i was just so taken by how beautiful all of the packaging was so if you have tried some of their own candle please do let me know if they smell strong and if they are worth getting also love this if you've got a country style home how cute is that cushion Oh gosh, and that little doggy again, look, how adorable. You know what i think i've actually shown this vase before but i still love it and how gorgeous with those stripe cushions oh, and these floral cushions look if you've got a conservatory in the summertime some really nice lamps if you've got larger bedside tables and then they have this really funky section and i know some people are so into this sort of like i feel like it's 2000s groovy era style some more candles they were there these were their more basic home ones i think more of the tesco owned ones but they look really lovely like i said before and then they just had lots of cute little bits I do just let my girls pick what they want and I'm going to be honest with you, it's normally pink 
and it's bright coloured and it's unicorn. But if you've got a small baby and you're still decorating their bedroom, mind you saying that my girl could love that cushion at six pounds, then they did have some really fantastic bits in. Um, some more bedding here. Again, loving those spring flowers and bunny vibes they've got going on. They have these fox and ivy sets. All of those patterns were beautiful. Again, if I had a conservatory, I feel like I would fill it with these sorts of cushions. And then moving on into their garden section. Now that purple like round ball and the wreath was so gorgeous in real life. I feel like the camera does it no justice. It's very muted. It looks very, very realistic. Would look lovely on the front door. They had lots of sort of outdoor artificial plants as well. I mean, they'll probably last you for a couple of years. I always find the brighter colored plants look more artificial though. Oh, that watering can, I just feel like would look fab as an accessory. <laughs> um, of course, would be great to water the garden, but it's just so beautiful. And then they did have these outdoor cushions. I'm not sure whether these were actually waterproof though, so I think you'd have to be careful if it did rain. Um, but yeah, it would look lovely on outdoor dining sets. Has some really gorgeous terracotta pots as well, as you can see. And again, more watering cans that can act as accessories. Also, they had some really nice outdoor lighting if you've got a pergola hanging these down or even on some fencing i just think it makes the outdoor feel really cozy in on those summer evenings and then they did have some kind of picnic outdoorsy bits for the kids and some grown up bits too. I really like this navy and white set and I think this is something I would more go for if I was doing lots of barbecues. And that was it for this video. I really do hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next one. Thank you so much for watching, bye bye.